Hi everybody, this is Sadiq here. So I am a technical trainer. So today uh, is uh, so is the uh, second session of uh, Excel. What you will be learning. So in the second session of Excel, so we'll be learning about this particular data analysis tools. Some of the tools like how do we do the sorting of the data, filtering, advanced filters. We'll look into. We'll look into the, something concept called as say subtotals and the pivot tables. So fine, let's start. We'll just see like what exactly is sorting. So generally when you talk about a sorting, sorting is nothing but the concept of arranging the data in an order. So which can be a generally an ascending order or a descending order. So now let us see like how do we do this particular sorting. So when you look into this thing, I have some data over here. So now I want to see this data based on the different criteria, based on the different regions. I think so which is sorted in an order. So like I say, I want to see this particular sales data which has been sorted based on item wise sales. I want to see all the CDs, then floppy disks, then keyboards and so on. So what I do is if I want to do the sorting, I just select the data and then I'll just get into this particular data tab in the ribbon. So we have this data tab in the ribbon. Uh, so as soon as I click on this data tab, sorry, yeah. So I'll just get into the data tab and let me Okay, fine. So let us do one thing, like let us do the sorting. So what we need to do is, so we need to just get into the data tab in the ribbon. In the data tab, you can see we have the sorting, filtering, subtotals, options, all this. So first, let us see about sorting. So like as I said, I want to sort this data based on the item name. So I just select the data. I just click on the sort. As soon as I click on the sort, you can see in the selected data, the first row is being deselected. That means the first row is considered as not the data but it is considered as the header and you can see in this dialog box it says okay my data has the headers that means from that selected data the first row is considered as a header since this checkbox is there then you can see we have a sort by column so this whatever the column names were there in the first row like region qtr item name and quantity sold that comes in this particular drop down list where you can say on based on what column you want to do the sorting they said like we just wanted to do the sorting based on the item name so i just select this particular item name and then we have the sorting order like whether you want to sort it in a to z or say z to x imagine like i want to sort it from ascending order we just say a to z and just say okay so you can see this particular data uh, you can see all the cds comes first then followed with the floppy disk f hard disk then followed with a k then for Okay, thanks. So it has been sorted based on the ascending order on the item name. Now we can do this particular sorting on multiple fields. Like we have the CDs sold and uh, we have the sales in different quarter. But you can see we have a Q3, 4, 1, 2 which is random. I want to put in orders. Like I want to say Q1 sales of CDs then Q2 sales. Like first priority I want to give it on the item name. But when the item names are repeated I want to see in which quarters the sales have happened. So if you want to do a multi level sorting so that is called multi level so i just get into the sorting so i just retain my first level i say i want to go with the item name but i want to add a second level imagine like i want to add a second level i just click on this add levels in this i just decide okay fine i want to go with the second level as qtr which you can decide whether ascending or descending so I'll let me go with the ascending order so when you look into this, so this has retained as it is, so okay, the series floppy disk in the ascending order. But when the item names are repeated, for the repeated item name, you can see this particular quarterly sales is given as in the ascending order from A2, that is Q1 to Q4. Okay, so this is like the full this one. And this is for the individual items, what it has been done. So this is nothing but your multi-level sorting. Now. You can also sort based on say numeric fields. You want to do the sorting based on the numeric fields. What I do is I just get into this particular sorting. So now I say I want to sort it based on the numeric. So let me select the quantity sold. As soon as I select the quantity sold, you can see the quantity sold data, what is there? It's a numeric data. Based on that, the sort order says whether you want to go with the smaller to largest or the largest to smallest. I think this was a really confusing thing before. Like, you know, uh, when it comes to number, what is ascending and what is descending. So generally when it com comes to the sales, we always say the highest sale to the lowest sale. That should be the default order. But when it comes to the wrong ranking, we say the one, two, three, that is lower number to the higher number is a good ranking. Uh, but when it comes to the numbers, like ranking is one, two, three, and when it comes to sale, we go with the, this one. So we, people already had a confusion when to use ascending and descending 
when it comes to numeric. But here it is very specific, telling like if you have selected the numbers, it says smallest to the largest. It clearly says like you know you want to sort hot it from the smaller data to the lower higher, higher data or to the largest to the smallest. So I say I want to go from the largest to the smallest as soon as I just say OK. So the sales uh, the sorting you can see it has gone from the higher values to the lower values. Uh, fine, so this is uh, very spe specific based on the type of uh, data. So the sorting says whether you want in ascending or descending. And apart from this, we also have something called as the custom sort. The custom sort is, it's neither you want in sort in ascending nor in descending, but you want to define the order based on which you want the sorting to be applied. Like example, like when it comes to the quarterly sales, when it comes to a calendar, the first three months of the calendar is Q4, then followed with Q1, 2, like Jan to March is Q4, and April it starts the Q1. So when it comes to like, what is say the calendar year, the quarter wise quarterly thing is like Q4, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, which is neither in ascending nor in descending. So you want to define your own order. Let us see like how do we do this particular case of custom sorting. So what I do is I just want to sort it based on the quarterly wise but neither in ascending or descending I want to define my own order. So I'll get into the custom list where in the custom list I can just say how you want this order. I say I want to have a Q4 then followed with Q1 then followed with Q2 then followed with Q3. I just say I want this order I'm looking for and I just say OK and just say OK. So you can see now the sales that has come as Q4 sales, then followed with Q1, and which is followed with Q2, and then followed with Q3 sales. So that means apart from the ascending and descending, we can also go with the custom sorting. So this was something to about the sorting. Next module in this particular topic will just talk about the filters. So when I say filter, as the name only says, filter is like removing the information which is not needed or getting only the information what is needed to us. If you want to do this particular filter, so let us see example of this. Now you want to do the filter, again we just come to our say data tab in the ribbon. In the data tab we can see we have the sort and filter where you can see we have this particular filter which looks like a filter where you can filter. And now what I do is again I just uh, select the data on which I want to apply the filter. I just click on the filters as soon as I click on the filters you can see in the headings of the data so we have this particular icons what comes so that means okay it is ready for the filter now the next thing is imagine like I want to filter uh, only a sales of a particular region so what I do is I just drop down the region and you can see in this particular region it will show me all the distinct regions what is there in my data so in my data we have a central region, east, north, south and west, it gives me all the distinct, that means repeated things, it just shows once. And we can see in the left of that we have a checkbox, we can just select or deselect whichever the regions you want and do want and also we have one common option like you want to deselect the whole group or you want to select the whole group. Now imagine like I just wanted to see the sales of uh, north and south region, so what I do is I just deselect everything and I just select only north and south. As soon as I say OK, you can see we have only the sales of the north and the south region. And you can apply this fil uh, filter on multiple fields and in that like say I don't want to see the Q4 sale, I just want to see 1, 2, 3 sale. Fine, you can see it has even removed the Q4 sale. Now when you look into this heading, so we have these two headings which has the filters applied but here there is no, that means the data is being filtered based on the region and the quarterly sales. Now we have this filtered data. What I want to do is I want to apply uh, what I say sorting on after filtering the data. So when you look into this particular thing, we have the south region sales, then again we have a north region, then again south, then again north, then again sir. It is in the random order. So I say no, after filtering this data, the filtered data I want to be sorted. So what you do, you don't have to defilter it. So the filtered option, you can just directly select. There we have this particular uh, sort A to Z or Z to A. So I say I want in the ascending order. As soon as I say this, we can see the north region sales, then south. And one more thing is like, we can see if you have done a sorting and filtering. So you can see there is a filter plus an arrow pointing upward. That means you have done a, a sorting plus filter. Uh, filter plus sorting, the sorting is in the ascending order. If the arrow is pointing downwards, that means it's in the descending order. So that means in the quarter you have done only of the filter, on this you have not done any options. 
so this is another good options like the filtered data can be sorted without defiltering it now apart from that so we also have this okay now you want to do the filtering on the numeric data